Huey 5 BP Guru today. We're doing one of those lovely informational videos where I don't actually show you any code, but hopefully I am still going to teach you a little bit of something, especially if you're new to UE5 and uh, you, Unreal in general, and you are looking to make your first video game. I've got five tips uh, that I've learned along the way or I've learned from other people, um, and I've just kind of gathered this over my seven years in Unreal Engine. Hopefully it will find you useful. Uh, hopefully it doesn't put you off too much. Um, but without further ado, let's do this. So point one is to be realistic. A lot of people are waking up uh, in the new year and being like, I want to make the next AAA video game. Maybe you weren't too happy with the reveal of Grand Theft Auto 6, or maybe you, you didn't like Red Dead Redemption 2, or the new Call of Duty sucked and you were gone, I could do better. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you right now. I'm going to be the one to rip the band-aid off. You ain't. You're not going to be the next AAA developer. Not anytime soon, anyway. If you are just starting out in your game development journey, um, you need to be realistic. Not everyone is going to be able to pick up Unreal Engine tomorrow and make, you know, the next best game. Your first game's probably going to suck, and no one's going to like it. And I, I'm, I'm guilty of that, too. So you're not the only one. Um, so be realistic. Think of something smaller. Think of something unique. And uh, if you're serious about it, um, just just take your time with it. Take something small, a small idea, and make that first. And um, then make something else. I know a lot of people should really, in theory, try and make Pong first. It's such a simple game. And if you can make that, then you can move on. To a Lynx Mark 8 helicopter. And keep improving until you make um, the game that you want to make. It's it's Everyone's got a dream game. I have a dream game. Uh, it's taken me seven years to learn everything I need to know to make my dream game. And I'm still learning. So be realistic with your um, uh, your ideas, as I say, and, and just know you won't be a AAA developer straight out of the bat. You're not going to pick up a tutorial series and make Grand Theft Auto 6. It's, it's just not going to happen. So be realistic and you'll have a far better chance of going further in the game development er uh, space. This brings me on to point two. Uh, one skill I think that is super important for everyone to know, if you can master this skill, you'll go really far in the uh, game development world, and that is to problem solve. There are so many people that I uh, speak to on a daily basis uh, that are amazing at what they do, but they struggle to problem solve. They need to go back and look at everything and work out where they've gone wrong. Um, it, it will feed into my third point, but you need to take what you're learning and learn how all of it works together and learn to problem solve that code because it's your code you might be learning it from someone else or you might have created it off of your own bat but you need to know the ins and outs so that you can problem solve and break things down and learn to fix it and make it work for your game because every game is different in their own right point three number three we're at the halfway point don't follow tutorials blindly there's plenty of us out there. I'm one. You've got Ryan Laley, Gorka, Matt Asplay. Um, there's CG Dealers. There's tons of tutorial series out there. Um, and they're all doing a fantastic job, me more so than everyone. But but there's lots of us out there. But what you need to know is take us with a pinch of salt. We will show you how to do it, which is great. But it won't always fit in your game. You might think, oh, this inventory system, that's perfect. I'll put it in there. And then you get it in there and it doesn't fit. You need to take it, what we're saying, with a pinch of salt, learn from it, and then apply that to your game. Don't just blindly add it and hope that for the best, because you'll find that you'll hit brick walls, and that's when people tend to typically quit. I think the statistics are 88% of people follow tutorials only, and then as a result, just give up on their game ideas. So take the tutorials with a pinch of salt, try and glean something from that, and put that into your game. Take what you, know, you need to know and, and apply that to your own code you'll find that um, you need to ask not so much the what, what are we doing, but why are we doing it? Why are we adding it this way? Why are we adding it with this particular code? I've always been a, a strong believer. There are hundreds of ways to do anything in Unreal. There are, I've seen at least 20 ways to do a health system. Like you, there's lots of different ways. You can use timed events. You can just use integer redu reductions. There's, there's so many different ways to do everything in Unreal that we shouldn't be asking the what, we should be asking the why. Why are we doing this? 
Why are we adding this health bar in this way? Why are we doing this running system this way? Why are we adding this weapon system instead of this weapon system? There are hundreds of ways to do things, so we should always ask, why are we doing this? Not what are we doing? Because we can all learn what by doing multiple different ways. We need to know why we're doing it. So you've decided on a game idea. Point four, you've decided on your game idea. You know what you want to do. You want to make um, a pirate game. You want to make a mobile shooter game. You know what you want to make now, which is great. Congratulations. What you need to do now is break that idea down. Before you open Unreal, before you open up Unity or Godot or whatever you're going to use, before you open it up, break it down. What do you need in this game to make it a reality? What are the mechanics going to be? What are your systems going to be? Do What artwork, what level design do you need? You need to plan everything out. I see too many people not planning anything out and they fumble. They fumble through their game development. I had uh, a gentleman join my Discord. He told me he was making a game about you play a siren. And I was like, wow, that sounds really cool. Okay. And he went away and he was trying to do the multiplayer. He was trying to do all this thing. And he hadn't broken anything down. I asked him, what have you broken down? What were the key points of your game? Um, what systems you need in place? And he couldn't tell me. So I said, go away. Think of it. Do, tell me what you come back to me with your answer basically comes back i'm making a pirate game now you make ships okay cool it's different fine okay fair enough what have you broken down oh i haven't done that yet. so you've just changed your idea completely so you're fumbling you're just you're not getting anywhere because you're not you don't know your path you need to give yourself time and you need to break it down before you open up unreal before you open up these engines Break it down. I need this locomotion. I need this weapon system. I need this inventory system. I need these kind of NPCs. I want this kind of layout for my land. I know this is the main mechanics of the game. We're going to be pirates. We're going to be on a ship. We need to be able to shoot the ship. We need to be able to sail the ship. Break everything down and work out what you need to work on your game and plan it out over the weeks so that, you know, within the first year, you kind of have a running idea of where you need to be. Um, final point. The final point, which I see a load of people, so many people not do, test your games as you make them. If you follow a 10 episode tutorial system and you get to the end of that and it doesn't work and you haven't tested it throughout, throughout the way, then what are you expecting to have happen? No one's going to know where you broke your game. No one's going to know where you went wrong with your code. You need to test it. Use print strings and break points. They are in the game for, in the engine for a reason. Use them. They will tell you so much information by just adding them in where you're going wrong. Whether you're using a data table and you put on the, the not found row, row, that will tell you that it didn't find the row in your data table. That way you know you can go back and you, you have an area to look to problem solve. It all feeds in. These points feed into one another, by the way. Um, and finally, break points, they'll stop on the, on the code when it runs. If it doesn't stop on that code, you know it didn't fire. So that's perfect for functions. If you write a whole function and it doesn't stop, you know that function didn't fire. There, there's so many little methods of checking your code, but I, I honestly think when you write a little bit of code, just test it's working. Just test it's working. I did uh, a fighting animation. Just make sure it works. Uh, I wanted to, I've done my sprint, and now I'm going to move on to this. Before you move on, just check your sprint's working. Um, you, you've got a data table for names. Make sure those names are being found, you know? Just little things. Just test as much as possible. As much as possible and it'll save you so much heartache down the line. These five points I've just picked out are so many reasons why people quit out of Unreal and Unity and God off within their first six months because they hit brick walls and they can't problem solve through them or they take on too much that they, they couldn't handle. You know, it takes a village to make a video game. You can't do it on your own half the time um, unless you're perfecting each of those individual um, aspects of making a video game because it's not just code. It's artwork, it's uh, modeling, it's animation. So all of those things take time. So take the time to learn them if that's what you want to do. If you want to do it on your own, take the time to learn all of those different mechanics. It will make a massive difference for you. Hopefully these five tips haven't put you off and hopefully um, they help you understand to what you should be doing before you even start making a video game. And um, if you are making a video game, uh, please, Join the Discord. I'd love to see it. I'm, I'm always up for seeing uh, people's new ideas uh, and information. Um, and uh, as always, uh, I'm here to help you if you need it in the Discord. Um, and uh, if you have any top tips for people, put them in the uh, comments below. I'm sure people would really appreciate 
hearing uh, some other tips that I haven't mentioned today. And um, yeah, much love. Take care and I'll see you in the next episode. Take care. Bye.